Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So in this part, we will focus on improving the steady state error using PEI from idle compensator or lag compensator from non-idle compensator. So to improve the steady state error without affecting the transient response, for PEI, we can place a pole at the origin as equal to zero and place a zero close to origin. This will increase system type by one and since it is idle compensator, it will reduce steady state error to zero. While for lag compensator, we design it by place a pole and zero close to origin. This compensator does not increase the system type but still improve the steady state error even though the steady state error is not reduced to zero. In PI design procedure, uh, we design proportional controller to meet the transient response specification by placing the dominant closed loop system poles at the desired location. In this case, we have to remember that the roots are equal to negative sigma d plus minus j omega d, where sigma d is equal to damping ratio zeta multiplied with natural frequency omega n. While for omega d is actually equal to omega n multiplied with z1 minus zeta squared. So for PI compensator, first one we need to place a pole at the origin where S is equal to zero. This one is to reduce the steady state error. Second, we need to add a zero which is close to the pole at origin. This one is to maintain transient response performance. Here we have a system uh, operating with desirable transient response generated by the closed loop pole uh, at A. If we add a pole at the origin, okay, this is pole at origin, and this is how we add pole for the PI compensator at origin. This one is to increase, uh, this one is to improve the uh, steady state error, to reduce the steady state error by placing pole at origin. Okay, if we add pole at the origin to increase the system type, the angular contribution of the open loop pole at point A is no longer 180 and the root locus no longer goes through point A meaning that point A is not part of the root locus anymore compared to the original uncompensated system point A is part of the root locus where the angular contribution the summation of all poles is equal to the odd multiplication of 180 by adding a pole at origin the angular contribution is not equal to 180 degree meaning that the pole A is not lie on the root locus anymore. To solve the problem, we also add zero close to the pole at origin. Okay, so we add zero in this block diagram. We add at the compensator block diagram at the numerator. So this one representing zero that close to the pole at origin, and this one is pole at origin. Now, the angular contribution of the compensator zero and compensator pole will cancel out each other. Therefore, point A is still on the root locus and the system type has been increased by one. This is the angular contribution by all the uh, original poles from the original transfer function and also by adding 
zero and pole this one this is theta pc belong to pole at origin and theta zc belong to zero that we add close to origin this one the angular contribution is equal to odd multiplication of 180 degree meaning that the point a is back to the root locus Furthermore, the required gain at the dominant pole is about the same as before compensation since the ratio lengths of from the compensator pole and compensator zero is approximately unity. Okay, this will cancel out each other. Thus, we have improved the steady state error without affecting the transient response. A compensator with a pole at origin and a zero close to the pole is called an ideal integral compensator. So, in order to improve the steady state error, we have to refresh back this table. We need to check whether the transfer function is type zero, type one, or type two. And then we you need to uh, no, for type 0, only position static error constant will have constant value. For this one, for type 1, only velocity constant static error constant will have constant value. And for type 2, only acceleration static error constant will have constant value. And for this one, since it has constant value, they will have a uh, value of steady state error. For type 0, 1 over 1 plus kp. For type 1, 1 over kv. And for type 2, 1 over ka.